So, as I kind of have said on Twitter, I'm going to play something new tonight. Completely blind. And, uh... Something new that came out today. It's called the Guild of Dungeoneering. It's got, like, a really cool uh, pen and paper RPG aesthetic. And I've never played it before. So this should be interesting. I haven't even started it because I want the, the intro music to play. So uh, I'm going to give it a go. And uh, here's the intro song. And that was the epic uh, intro theme. Also, that sounds really shitty. That they haven't fixed the bug yet. Oh, close something I didn't mean to. Seedles. Where the hell is that? Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, that's all set up. That's all set up. Let's rock and roll. So I have already a game started, but it, I'm just going to overwrite it. So. Click. The Ivory League. This is the Guild of Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer. I was going to read that. fame and glory. Okay. You, are you done singing? The Ivory League of Explorers. The noblest, most virtuous guild in the land. Pfft, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly, grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I've bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I borrowed from them. I've started, I staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work for me while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never actually said that to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. Welcome to your guild. We need to hide some dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. Love that it's on graph paper. A new dungeoneer has arrived. The one that's always left behind the solitary lump, the pawn whose fodder for the grind, the sorry little chump. <laughs> okay, we'll call him Potato because he's a chump. You can expand your guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. Okay. But first, try going on an adventure. Let's go exploring. Okay, so I'm assuming that's my guild and then this is the dungeon. Rats, how original. Quest one, squeak, squeak. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, enter dungeon. Come on, Potato the Chump. It looks like I got a double click, actually, which is very strange. I'm not used to that. Potato. Play up to three more cards this turn. I'll play your first turn. It's easy. Alright, so he played something. 
and put a duck in a room. And put some money in the, the uh -huh. room with the duck. That looks like a bit, that looks a bit like a gold coin. He said with random capitalization. Okay, Zargo, you can name the next one. Okay, so... This does one physical damage and minus is one hit point. I'm gonna cower. Lucky hit. You gain. Okay, so the paper crown is block any one hit point per damage blocked. Straight jacket. I take this straight jacket. Get some more health. So that can't go there, can only go there. I don't have anything to entice him up the hallway though. But I do need to kill rats. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like that very much. Okay, we'll put the rat in there. And then I guess we'll put a corridor over here. Oh, oh. Potato versus the nasty rot. Oh, we're definitely cowering. Oh, what's this do? Oh, and it's unblockable. Well, then we're going to do an ice-closed punch. Neurotoxin? Boo! Cower. Bite? Also unblockable. Well, I'm going to punch you twice then, you little wanking nasty rat. Okay, so I've defeated one nasty rat. Oh, that can heal. We're gonna take that. Oh, hello, massive gem, eh? And I don't know if I want to play anything else. Because I think that'll make him go down that corridor. Uh, I regret playing that already. Uh, okay, I'm just getting my turn and see what happens. Massive gem! Massive gem! Well, I don't have any choice. That's unblockable damage, so I might as well just punch him. Ah, oh, sweet. Rekindle. I get my sweet ass magic gem. Oh look, it's your dungeoneer who survived. Just look at the joy. I'm so teary eyed. Do you think that they'll all come back alive? Well, I suppose if they don't, then at least they all tried. Okay, so I guess we want to spend the money to expand the guild. Okay. Uh, we're definitely unlocking the hug in a bottle.
Okay, so we go exploring again. Plus one for first two fights. Okay, cool. Defeat the Rat King! So, where's the Rat King? Rat Man? Rat Man? Ah, there's the Rat King. He is feral, armed, and irritable. And Scottish. I don't know why he's Scottish, but he is. Okay, and I think we'll put the bat in here. Because that should entice potato. Oh god! Not a giant bat! Oh, we're definitely going for a lucky hit. Because it's unblockable, so. Um, and that's unblockable, so eyes closed punch. And drain. Oh, you wanker. No, that was not the right choice. I should have cowered. Well, he's going to do one damage to me, but I'm going to do two to him, so that should kill him. Okay. We can take a cuppa. A ruffled shirt. What does the ruffled shirt do? One physical damage, quick, and a quick action, draw a card. Rekindle. I'm going to take Rekindle, because Rekindle did me well last time. And also, I have a bird's nest on my head, and how is that not awesome? Um, okay, so we're going to put the coins in there. Uh, not over there. I need to put that corridor somewhere to just get it out of my hand. This looks to split. Neurotoxin is successful. Okay, so we're going to cower. Eyes closed, punch. What the? Unblockables. Double punch. And we're going to do Rekindle. Cower against the Neurotoxin again. Oh, that looks nice. As does that. I take the fork. He is not a happy fellow. Um, No, we're gonna be fighting plenty of rat men though. Let's let's fight a knoll. And we're gonna end our turn there. Is this multiplayer? What the take two fit two physical damage take or well, maybe you take one damage for doing it. Um right, I'm gonna use lucky hit. And then cower. And then slice. 
Uh oh, we both died. No! Another hero, dead at last. Their future now is in the past, and all because their selfish pride was chasing fame and glory. <laughs> oh, we now have a graveyard to build. It had to happen at some point. Although the skill seems very grand, a dungeoner's life can sometimes be hard. Not always going as they might have planned. They mostly end up in this graveyard. <sighs> I really love the songs. Alright, so we need a new dungeoner. So... Cool. And we might have to try that sometime when I'm a bit more used to it. What do you want? Do you want to name Mary, Sergo? So I know you wanted to name the next one. Okay. I think it's just all on your side, Zergo, unfortunately. Because it looks like it's fine for me. I don't have any dropped frames. I think I have enough money to expand the guild at all. How how is the stream for you, Ponscom? This I, it's really driving me crazy that everything is is double clicking. I mean, I'll get used to it. It's just it my brain does not want to process it at all. Um, okay, so we've got Giant Bat, Ratman, Nasty Rat. No money. Um, okay, so we'll put that there. And that there. We could use to fight a Nasty Rat. Zergo mm. fights a Nasty Rat! Well, that's unblockable, so... Zergo is totally taking the cuppa. That's 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 really terrible. I don't want that. Zergo, you go fight another rat. Maybe another rat. Rats are really... Who fills a dungeon with nasty rats? This is a girl character. I, sh I should do, like, a, a female voice for her. She's Zarko. Uh, yeah, we're definitely cowering. Fire Blast. Zergo whips her mighty mug of hot coffee. Oops. 
this. You already have a cuppa. Take the straight jacket. Uh oh. He does not seem remotely happy. Okay, we want you to go in here to go get the gold. And fight the Nostirat. Ah, Narratoxin. I don't know why I've suddenly defaulted to, like, some weird S Scottish-esque ac 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 I can't talk. Accent. Well, Zergo's already doing better than Potato. Looks like a bit, bit like a gold pouch. Okay, well, we don't need rekindle yet. Um, so let's just punch. Now we'll use rekindle. Power. Not fire blast. And a lucky hit. Zergo Rex, yet another nasty rat. Um, okay, so. I like that. I'd rather have the paper crown, I think. Oi! I uh, mean, squeak! Squeak, squeaker, squeak, squeakin'. Who fills a dungeon with nasty rats? Oh, the neurotoxin immediately. Uh, well, we will use the holy seal. And fire blast. And then lucky hit. I'm getting the hang of this now. Okay, um, I don't want to give up the Fire Blast, and I don't want to give up the health. Though we're doing pretty good for health, I almost wonder if I should get... Yeah, I'm going to take the Ruffled Shirt. Okay. I don't have a, any of the room spaces I need. So I just might end my turn right now. <sighs> Nasty rub, chat rats drop loot, right? Sergo versus another nasty rat. Who will win this epic battle of glory? Um, well, we don't need to use that. Mm, 
you. Although, actually, I guess it really wouldn't matter because I'd just kill him. I want to use that. It doesn't do anything because Saga successfully kills the nasty rat. Okay, so straight jacket and twig. We don't have a weapon yet, so we'll take the twig. Finally. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I think I can take it. Ooh, drain. We are going to... Oh, wait. Shit. That's magic damage. Shiza, 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 shiza. Zergo, I'm blaming you. I mean, like, you, you didn't make a smart choice. hit. Wow! That, that's the noise it made. Alright, so I think we're just going to take some gold, because you already have a twig, we already have that, and we have a straight jacket, so we're just going to take some gold. Oh, silver coins! Silver coins! Um, so we're going to put those there. And I immediately re nope, never mind, never mind. Um I think we're good. Who fills a dungeon with rat men? You said that about nasty rats, Zergo. You're getting quite repetitive. So much blame on Zergo. Ah, headbutt, I don't like that. Um, okay, so we'll just punch. I like that the rat men have, like, all these abilities that hurt themselves. Oh! Oh, we're getting new... Right, because we defeated a higher level monster. Um, hmm. Might as well put a fight in there. Did we just make him stronger? Was that, was that a dumb idea? Did we do something dumb? Let's hope not. Silver coins! Silver coins! I will probably only continue to do the voices until I find it gets repetitive for myself. Strike. Um, okay, well, we'll, we'll lucky hit. Well, block, 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 and block, and block. So I guess we'll bash. Anger. Holy seal. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing is he probably has strength based on remaining rats. Okay, so that will... Okay, I'm keeping shift, that's for sure.
and I kind of want to keep uh, I take that okay well we're going right for the rat king so let's just do it rat kings drop loot right Zerga, this is the rat king Well, the Rat King starts with Anger. I think Shift is an excellent first card to play, because it means we'll have four cards to choose from for the rest of the fight. Um, head Blow, if successful, enemy discards a card, so we are cowering. Fire Blast. Zega defeats the Rat King! Your Jundaneer did it. decency, I wonder. Like the Ivory League of Explorers. Instead, you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Nope. Oh, we got the trophy room. We're gonna put that right next to the box. Ooh, what did we find? The Rat King's Tale. Rats! How original! It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Okay, so we got enough gold we can expand the guild again. So let's get a hidden den. New dungeon Nia has arrived. Until now, we've all had some fun. And you could say you've come very far, Mark. But brace yourself for some woeful cat puns. Now that we have a cat burglar. Meow. For games he's going to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Ugh, if I ever hear another story about clearing up rats, it won't be too soon. My minions, wait, cross that out, employees, did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King, though. There was mention of a magic orb. An orb of nosiness. It's exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivory League. I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a peg. The rumors point to more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! What am I saying? I'm not stepping foot in that place. That's what I have chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I've decided that from now on we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that, or the Guild of Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. Can't decide which would look better on our letterhead. So can we revisit old ones? Doesn't seem so. So should we take Zergo the Chump, Pawn Scum the Cat Burglar? Let's take Pawn Scum into the 
The Fire Lords. Dungeon. Let's see how quickly he gets just destroyed. What do we got? There's a bunch. They're still like level one monsters. Fire imps and gnolls. Okay. And what's this? Do we even know what this is? Fountain of clairvoyance. Okay. So we'll go with that and that. And we'll throw a fire imp in here. Uh -oh. Fire imp? Perfect. Ah, excellent. You're going to be making all of the uh, cat puns. Right, so we'll do catnip. And throw cat. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. I should have taken the shield. Gold coin? Preposterous! Meow. The AI needs... Well, I guess it is a goblin. So that's not a particularly smart move. That goblin is going to kill itself. Um, I think we're going to take the wooden stool. Because even though it gives me one uh card. anything. I don't think I do. I've got a bad feline about this. <laughs> oh, fire him screwed up as well. Um, well, then we will. Well, let's do shift because shift will give us another card, so. And then we'll repel. Then throw a cat. And throw another cat. Yeah, Judge it out, did it. Okay, we don't have enough gold, so we are gonna go exploring again. Maybe we'll take Zergo into the fire caves this time. Squatching spoils! Loot all of Ambrose treasure! Okay, so there's... Some ghosts, some more ghosts, some other ghosts. Alright, well let's let's take on the level twos first. And okay. I'll put that there too. Two years in chump school for this. 
Zirka, that's just a ghost. This is not boating well so far for Zergo. Zergo, you might be meeting your untimely doom. Poor Zergo! Killed in the first fight! No! A scream is heard to chill the bones, so lift the earth and lay the stones. A martyr's grave to recompense. But others would have had more sense. Oh, uh, well, let's see. <laughs> For now, we'll go with Zergo, too. The, uh, the balding black woman. Uh, okay, let's go exploring. Um, let's see what's over here. Goblin Menace. This seems like more of a job for Zergo, too. Uh-oh. Really isn't anything I can play right now. I could put that there, but that would be very pointless. Oh, poor Zergo too. Oh, that's not good. Fountain of blindness. Ah! This is like five flavors of terrible. Uh -oh. Two years in chum school, but that's. Or I guess I guess I should do a girly voice. No, I don't think it'll get that far. I'll probably just start coming up with silly names on my own. Ooh, a bear owl. Zergo Xlex. Oh god, not a goblin! Zergo the second is very afraid of goblins, it seems. But I, I, oh right, it's got conceal.
Oh, nice! That was a nice choice. Sergo defeats the goblin! Um, okay. Okay, let's take a slice. Ooh, massive gem. Sergo, you can defeat a rat man, right? Ah. Ooh, yeah! Sergo the second versus the rat man! Head blow. Oh, we don't like that. Um, let's use that one because that'll only repel one type of damage. Slice. Ooh. Let's just cower then. It's just only sucks one hit. Lucky hit. Zergo the second uses lucky hit. It was super effective. All right, so we got a shimmering cloak, which is looking all kinds of pretty. Yeah, we're gonna take the shimmering cloak. Yay, money! All right, so there's a mysterious fountain card, a knoll, some skellies, and a bear owl. Let's place this over here. What do we get? And in greater numbers? Are you in greater numbers, Zergo? Yeah, I think I can take it. Um, okay, so we'll fire blast. The fell. Cower. Ooh. Um, what? That's, why did I discard a card? I cowered. It wasn't successful. Boo! Well, you're gonna kill yourself anyway. What? How'd you kill me? <laughs> no! Do not Zergo the second. Uh, the Zergo line is doomed. Doomed. Uh, let's see. Let's call him Shaft. I don't know what a... Okay, I can unlock mimes. Okay, the crone's knowledge. Plus one starting hand size in battle for first two fights. Okay, that's a different type of character. So a lot of these are all like, f does something with first two fights. Or unlocks. Oh, I like that. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Well, I mean, in many ways it is like Rogue Legacy. I mean, the gameplay is completely different, but you're constantly going into dungeons and 
bringing some part of what you uh, what you acquire back. All right, so let's put you there, and then put a nasty rat in there. Shaft. Um, let's put this somewhere down there. This looks uh, say whoa. Doesn't look good. Shaft versus the nasty rat. Shaft. Bite. Um, well, I'm a lucky hit. Whoops. Whoops. Kawa. Whoops. I should call the next ca character Corridor. Whoops. So I think what I was supposed to do is choose a different starting item. So I still have the, like, plus health. Oh, I should have taken the helmet. What's this? Ooh, gold coin, you say? And... Let's throw that up there. And throw a scary spider in there. All right. Have a good sleep, Zergo. The game you mentioned? Which game did you mention? Oh, it pasted in a link and it deleted it. Just uh, send me uh, send me a DM on Twitter with the link in it, so I don't lose it. Or I mean, if you're going to sleep, just send it to me tomorrow or whatever. And if I don't hear from you, then I'll just bug you tomorrow about it. Zergo has killed the goblin. So we'll take the soldiers. Oh, no, this is Zergo. This is Shaft. Is it called Card Hunter? Okay. All I see is 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 Link deleted up above, which I'm not sure why. I need to I need to mess around with my settings again to not make them dumb. I see you back this way, maybe. No. Um, let's see if we let's see if Zergo can defeat the Bear Owl, or he'll just wander that way anyway. Well, Zergo, that's I keep calling him Zergo because he's the chum. I've basically mentally just defined the chump in my head as Zergo. Come on, Shaft. <gasps> Woo, yeah! Oh, great, two uh cards. Oh, okay, so the goat Noel has fury. Oh, okay. So I gained stupidity two for this fight, and he has all physical attacks deal one damage if on half less or health or less. Okay. No! The right, because it does one extra damage. I was still not used to that. Damn it. I was dumb me. Dead. 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 Poor Shaft.
Come on, shaft it. I refuse to completely abandon the chum. I find like sometimes it doesn't recognize the clicks. Like I have to kind of just like start spamming clicking, which is weird. Let's throw the rat man in there. Ooh. Huh? On we go. Ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. Gold coin, gold coin. Shaftet versus the goblin. Okay, so I need to start being more wary of the like the tagged keywords. Night Zergo. Oh, that's not good. That was nearly death for Shaftet. Nearly death. Uh, Shaftet is taking the soldier's helmet immediately because Shaftet wants more health. Okay, we're not doing anything else. Uh -huh. This is why I'm a dungeoneer! Ooh, more shinies. Like a bit of gold coin. No, I didn't say that right. Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Big wolf. Want to fight about it? Okay. Uh, well, we're gonna do the lucky hit. Let's close punch. Block the neurotoxin. Nice close punch. Lucky hit. And that is really useful. But nothing else I have is, so we're just gonna... Let's have a nasty rat over here. And end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I can take it. Level 2 Rat Man. Does he have any modifiers? I don't see any, so. Okay, so we're gonna cower. Um, okay, we'll cower again. Punch. This is not good so far. There, that's better. And the rat man's gonna kill himself. Ooh, a scimitar. Gold pouch, gold pouch. Um, 
Yeah, I should have done it that way. Oh well. Ooh, gimme. If I'd done it that way, I would have gotten the gold and then killed the, the rat. Let's use dice. So let's punch. I say that cat Shaftet is a bad mother. Well now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. Click, click, click. Um, okay, so do I want to expand the guild? I guess that's a better question. Um, because these all seem to take like 500 to unlock. Oh, there's stuff on the left I can, I can unlock. Oh, but they're... I can unlock them, but I don't have enough money for them. So I'm thinking getting items unlocked is probably my best bet right now. Let's go explore. Um, okay. Let's take uh, Ponscum to go kill the big orc. Yeah, I think that's my Gurgo. I cannot talk. I think that's why Zergo mentioned it specifically. Okay, well, let's do this. Damn it! I typoed it! I ruined it! It's pawn scum now. You're just pawn scum. Which sounds exactly the same, actually. Once I say that out loud, I'm like, that, that doesn't sound any different at all. Got a spider. Perfect. So the scary spider is frail. Incoming physical attacks at plus one da damage. And you are covetous. Which means you get a bonus treasure card. Um, okay, well, let's use catnap. Because he can't heal himself right now. Not really. Throw cat. Throw cat! Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good. It's because you're a cat burglar. Alright, soldier's home. Cat burglar. Cat burglar. Um, hmm. I don't think you're ready to fight the Bandito or the Bear Owl. So, let's just do this. Throw these on the map. 
in the turn. Mm. Oh no! More clawful nasty rats! Ugh, neurotoxin. Um, Shiza. Get okay, him. Oh, you're still taking the puffy shirt. None of these cards are useful to getting up there. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This one is. Excellent. And let's have a goblin in there. No more clawful goblins! Oh, we're gonna shift immediately. Okay, so if successful, I discard a card, but that's fine because I'm up a card. So far, we're good. Oh, we're taking that. And none of these are... are useful. Because I need to get up here. I don't even know if this this is going to be a catastrophe. to block at all. And repel is not going to be that easy. Well, yeah, let's take that. I think that would be better. Watch out, he means it. I've got a bad feline about this.
That's not any better. Alright, well, let's put a rat man in the way. And at least maybe, like, get some more gear. This is going to be a catastrophe! There we go. Right, so we'll put that in there, that in there, and the skeleton in here. Gold pouch? Preposterous! Oh, the skeleton is brittle. Taking four plus damage in one turn takes two extra brittle damage. Okay. Let's do catnip then. Man, he's got a lot of dan like a lot of health. So, what kind of skeleton gets angry? I think it just I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure, but what I think it does is it makes sure that the action takes place first. So, like, it enacts itself before. I'm gonna go with that. So that'll give me some healing abilities. Okay, and I don't want to play any of those. Ah. Well, fun scum. That's what I think it does, but that's really just a guess. So, the Orc Warlord is predictable. Top card of deck is faced up. Faced up? So you'll get Stagger next. So we're going to go with Slice. And then Mind Strike. Oh, that's, that's really not good. Let's get another card into our hand. I'm sorry, Pawn Scum. I think he's dead. The Orc Warlord was too much. No! Across the land from far and wide, they come to the guild and want to fight. Thanks, Muda. Sad to see them sliced and diced. Mudagul. Not only once, but twice and thrice. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's correct. Um, okay, so let's expand the guild. Maybe get another class. Let's get a bruiser. Bruiser seems like it'd be good against the, uh... Click, click. Click, 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 click. Not so, a gentle so quick. kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser. But one that fills the heart with fear, I give to you the Bruiser. And for his great help, 
Moodugul. It's our bruiser. Our first bruiser, at least. I've got a loose idea. They seem to be pulled towards treasure. And I can kind of bait them with monsters in the next room. Is it you love that? Ah, oh, boo! Is there anything more to that? More to it than that, Mudo? Mudo? Um, okay. So hit one block one. Get the hell out of here! Block two. Oi! Oi, Goblin! What you think you're doing? Yeah, I've noticed that the treasure seems to treasure seems to be the main priority. All right, so interesting. A card if they take a wooden board, which I guess makes sense. Let's give him a bit more health. Wait a sec, you're from the Guild of Dungeoneering. Go break. Why can't they go there? Oh, is it because it's broken? Oh, well, let's throw that over there. And since the hand resets, we'll put the gold coin in with the goblin. Ooh. Well, that's shiny. But that's well shiny! I don't know why I'm not doing the Cockney accent, but the only accent that now is immediately obvious. I'm just not doing it for some reason. Oh, are you like this? How do you like this? He wouldn't say that. He'd be like, Oi, how do you like this? Um, okay, that one. Just double block. Oh, right, I should look. When you fully block an attack, deal one damage. Oi! Goblin! So, what do we get? We get... We'll probably take the wooden board. Hey! Stop killing my monsters! Everyone gets a turn in the graveyard. That really is an unintentionally dark observation about light. Something to punch. What, now I'm Russian? Hey, you're Russian. Something to punch. Really bad Russian, too. Sorry. Oh, how you like this? Oh, he's Fury and Predictable. Now, what's Fury do? All physical damage deals with... Okay, right, 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 right. So let's hold on to get the hell out of here. And use repel. don't see the point of having that. But that looks good. We'll take that. Um, hmm. Okay, so we'll throw that up there. 
and put a canola in it. Why can't that go there? Was it just because I haven't connected? It's probably because I haven't. I don't know what it is. What is you looking at? Oh, have you? Oh, we're, we're not having any of that. So he's got Fury, which is when he's at half health. So we'll start with that. Go counter next. And then repel. Okay, we already have the tactic mail. I think we're just gonna take some gold. Boy, I mean it! Um, okay, so I want the massive gem here. Let's put a Skeletron in here. And gold poach. Guess we'll put the gold poach there. Ah! Ah, yes! Give us that massive gem! Again, not the Cockney accent. Ah, oh, Simple Bruther does not know where he home's from. Okay, I remember what Spook does. Boy, get out of that! Okay, mm block that. Oh yeah, we're taking the club. Okay, Voodoo, you are fully geared now. And I cannot get you over there. So... I'm gonna fight no. Proper blingin'. I guess I didn't really need you to fight a null, but... We're still learning. too much to give that up. Yeah, let's take Scimitar. Or Scimitar. And again, no room. And only level through monsters. Do we dare fight the evil bandito? La Bolsa o oh, la vida! And the bear owl. Well, we're gonna dare fighting a bear owl. I'm sorry if you're dead. Oi! They're out! And now you're Australian. Okay, um, counter. And the bear owl has fury as well. Why does everything have fury? I don't like this. Um. Oh, because it was unblockable. That was dumb. That was super dumb. Okay, slice. Might as well use the uh card. Oh! Fuck! That's not good. Well. Tis the graveyard for him. 
scream is heard. It seems appropriate. Bones, so lift the earth and lay the stones. A martyr's grave to recompense. But others would have had more sense. Okay, Cockney. Okay, we need to expand the guild some. Let's unlock a mime. Is there anything that's more soul destroying than having to rhyme all the time? There's only one thing perhaps more annoying, and that would be insufferable mime. So I'm gonna have no voices to do for the mime, I'm assuming. Because it's a mime. Oh, mime. Oh, mime. Ah, just give me one second here. Checking out a couple things. Oh, they're talking now. Should actually make myself a note. <laughs> No, I'm going to take a short break because I need to do a couple things outside of uh, outside of the game. So we're going to take a break, go to some VGM music, and uh, be back in uh, 5 to 10. <laughs> 